Welcome to Business Brain, episode 458 for Casual Friday, June 16th, 2023. (music) Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take different things and we run them through our collective business brain to learn more about them, to get a different perspective on them. And have those things help us continue to lead or start to lead our charmed lives. Speaking of charmed lives, two sponsors that are going to help you out here. Number one is factormeals.com slash brain50, brain50, where you use code brain50 to get 50% off your first box of America's number one ready to eat meal kit. And also checker, C-H-E-C-K-R dot com slash businessbrain. That's where you go to save 40 bucks off your first background check. We're going to talk more in depth about how to do all these things in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And I'm still out here in California. I'm Shannon Jean. Yeah, man. How you doing? Uh, I'm good. I'm I, Happy Friday. I'm happy to be doing my best to uh, use my business brain yeah. to live my pre-tax life. Yes. I, and, I, and I, used to, a, th- I used to joke. That my, my, well, that my hobbies, I turn my hobbies into businesses because I'm a drummer, yep. right? And I yep. make money from that, which means I get to like treat it like a business and I'm a computer nerd. And so like all the like computery things that I like to buy, I, I get to like, that's also my business. And so yeah. like that, it, but it, I, I used to joke that because of that, everything I do is tax deductible. And in, of course. in a sense, that's not entirely wrong. It's not entirely true. It's a little I mean, hyperbole, but, it's a little yes, bit. but yeah, 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 you're yeah. trying to get it across. And and one of the things that, especially if you're an aspirational uh, business owner or on the fence of starting a side hustle, this kind yeah. of thing, this is the episode for you because we're going to talk about you know all the benefits of not just making money, but uh, spending less, paying less taxes, and enriching your life in other ways um, by using what the federal government and your state government, hopefully, uh, embrace to try to spur entrepreneurs to start companies, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, You yeah. found this thread from uh, Tax Credit Hunter on Twitter, the Tax Credit Guy, they call themselves. Yep. Saying owning a small business is the best tax deal in America, and 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 they continue with with something I think is really important. Whether it's a 10k side hustle or a 10 million dollar business, earning business income opens up amazing opportunities for tax savings and wealth creation. It's mm. true. Beautiful. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Business expenses, like I was talking about before, all the stuff I buy for the things that I like. You know, if I buy drum heads, drum sticks symbols correct well, it's tax deductible yeah, i mean people look at it and they say is that legal it's like yes i didn't write the laws like i do That's use right. i use this stuff i mean it's not like it sits here and i never use it to to earn money i absolutely use it to earn money i go out and i play gigs and i'm paid and i have to you know that's a taxable event i have to claim that income but i also get to claim the expenses absolutely correct i get to claim and, and you don't always yeah yeah yeah, you don't always have to offset some of those expenses. Sometimes you can have years that you take know, a loss. perhaps take a loss, at least on paper. Um, if you want to continue with your education, then you need to pay dues or tuition to uh, professional entities. development. Yep, you got it. That's tax deductible as well. Yep. I imagine you have some sort of internet service at your house uh, that you would need well, my, to do. My a business side has internet business. service, which happens uh, to be out of my of house, course. Shannon, because you and I can't do this show without having internet That's service. Correct. That's I, correct. I use my phone in various ways to take photos of products to, you know, answer emails, texts related to various businesses that I own. So my business pays for my phone and my phone bill, uh, you know, so on and so forth, <laughs> you know, yeah. and all of this is not only legal, but encouraged. You're encouraged to do these things. That's why those tax benefits are there. Um, it's true. You know, it, it, it's, it's amazing, especially if you're a If you're a solopreneur, if you're on your own and you're starting out, there's so many opportunities to put aside any revenue that you make for future and save on taxes. Um, You can pay your health care through your business and deduct that. Um, There's just, I mean, there's so many ways 
um, it, that, that you can benefit this. I just can't stress enough. Um, you could, you know, if you want to buy real estate and own it within your business and, you know, or own it personally, and you can lease it to your business, you know, uh, this is where a good accountant is worth their weight in gold. Um, and I would argue that you need one that's comfortable. Uh, I don't want to use pushing the envelope no, I, think I, in a bad way, but. Um, I always say that you need, I want an accountant whose tolerance for risk is one notch less than mine. Yeah, because, that's great. Because I, 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 I don't want somebody that's five notches less than mine because that we're going to, we're going to clash too much. It's not going to work. It, you know, I need yeah. to be able to function. Uh, but I also, I certainly don't want an accountant whose tolerance for risk is, you know, five notches ahead of mine either, because I, I need somebody to, you know, keep me reined in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I exactly. want to know like, Hey, I have this crazy idea. What do you think about yep. this? And have them say, okay, yeah, like that works. And me be able to trust. Okay. If they say this is all right now, I'm an, I know I'm good, but I also need to make sure it's the type of person where sometimes when I throw them an idea, they're like, what? I don't know. And then we argue a little and I say, well, I'm going to do it anyway. And they're like, well, if you're going to do it anyway, do it this way. It's like, ah, that's what I need. You know, the person. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the, the framework that I like to think about is, you know, a business or a side hustle, it's, it's the world's best expense account. And it allows you to do things like we're talking about, you know, travel if you need to go to vegas for a convention and stay at a nice hotel and go out and entertain some guests and you know those things are are uh, you know allow you to lower that taxable income um and you know if you have a a down year like we talked about last week yep. and you build up enough expenses and you've got uh, a negative year well a lot of those uh, deductions can be carried forward yep. um when you buy real estate, there's all kinds of methods to accelerate depreciation to, to write off the value of these things. Um, there's tons and every year there's tons of incentives for tons. businesses. Like, yeah. I mean, and, and even like to, to the point that tax credit guy on Twitter said, it, it, you know, you don't need to be buying real estate to take advantage yeah. of this stuff. Like it, it starts with the first dollar that you earn or even if you haven't yet earned a dollar in your small business, like it, it starts with the first dollar you spend is really where it, it begins. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So just, I agree. Just make sure you're like, if you're listening to this show and you're part of what we're doing here, like you're already thinking down the right path. You're already using your business brain for this stuff. And this is, you that's know, right. We're, we're all helping each other. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to talk more about this and, you know, feedback at businessbrain.show, it's one of my favorite things to discuss when I'm explaining to people why, you know, I own four or five different businesses and why yeah. each of each of our, uh, you know, vacation rentals is owned by a separate LLC and why we have an S Corp because we save money on this tax this way. I love it. And I've gotten lots of great advice because, you know, uh, from good accountants over the years and, um, it is one of the keys to the kingdom and building wealth includes minimizing your taxable income at all times. All right. Look, now that it's summer, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for sunny, active days. Factor, our sponsor and America's number one ready to eat meal kit can help you fuel up fast with flavorful and nutritious ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, you'll eat well, and you'll stay on track. Lisa and I have used Factor a lot recently. It is fantastic because you get these meals that are good for you, but you get to skip the trip to the grocery store, skip the chopping, the prepping, the cleaning up too, while getting all the rest of that because Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. Literally, two minutes. All you have to do is heat and enjoy, and then you can get back to whatever you're doing, get back outside, soak up the warm weather. You can elevate what you're eating at home with new upscale things like surf and turf and surf and surf meal options like roasted garlic filet mignon and shrimp and Cajun spice shrimp and salmon. They've got over 34 chef-prepared, dietitian approved weekly options. you got to go check this out. Head to factormeals.com slash brain five zero. And use code BRAIN50 to get 50% off your first box. 
That's code BRAIN50 at factormeals.com slash BRAIN50 to get 50% off your first box and our thanks to the folks at Factor for sponsoring this episode. And speaking of eating out, there are times where it makes sense to use your business brain to go eat at a restaurant. I like to meet with potential new hires for lunch. Watching them interact with the wait staff tells me what kind of person they are. Well, if meeting face-to-face isn't an option, you're hiring somebody remotely, our sponsor Checker is here for you because Checker provides fast and fair background checks and can help see the things that we can't. Checker makes it easy to get fast, comprehensive results so you can hire with confidence. Just sign up, select a package, and start a background check. It's that simple. Checker's advanced tech and proprietary data network deliver 98% of nationwide criminal checks within one hour. And they've got built-in tools to help you stay compliant with the FCRA and local laws. Best of all, Checker is commitment-free with affordable pay-as-you-go pricing. I love this. It's super customizable to fit your small business's needs. Take the guesswork out of the hiring process. Sign up for Checker today. Right now, Checker is offering our listeners $40 off your first background check. Visit our special URL to save $40, checker.com slash businessbrain. That's the word check, then the letter R, dot com slash businessbrain. C-H-E-C-K-R dot com slash businessbrain. And our thanks to the folks at Checker for sponsoring this episode. You know, Shannon, I was backstage, speaking of uh, my musical life, backstage on Saturday night before yeah. uh, we were going to play a gig. And, uh, you know, we were all set up. Everything was good. And we were just hanging out, waiting uh, for, you know, start time to come around, chit-chatting back there. I was talking to my friend Fury, who plays in Bitter Pill with us, with me. And uh, they were saying, we were talking about Danny Elfman, who uh, was sort of the chief songwriter in a band called Oingo Boingo back in yeah. like the eighties. And, and then Dead since Man's party, yeah. dead man's party. Right. But then since then uh, has done like did the soundtracks for all the Tim Burton films, wrote the theme music for the Simpsons. I, Danny Elfman's done all kinds of stuff. Like, you know, he, his work is everywhere. And Fury, it, it, this is like Fury's favorite artist. And, and so uh, Fury was saying one thing that I love about Danny Elfman is that he doesn't take no for an answer, even from himself. And I was like, hmm. whoa, I love that. So I took my phone out and I wrote it down and I said, I, this is definitely going to be a podcast podcast topic. And Fury was like, oh yeah, I listened even to from Gig- himself. Yeah, yeah. Even from himself. Yeah. And I, I, I loved that. You know, we were talking about imposter syndrome uh, yeah. earlier this week and I, I, like that whole idea of like I'm gonna I I'm gonna say no to do this because I I don't know how to do it I'm not capable I, like it's not my thing I've never done it before and then when you know when Danny hears this he says well it doesn't matter I'm gonna do it anyway and I just yeah, loved I like that that idea of not taking no for an answer from yourself that's super yeah. powerful <laughs> that is powerful that's yeah. great I love it yeah, yeah. I think that's great. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got, you know, he's got the props to, uh, you know, I'm sure pushed himself out. Didn't think that he was going to become this, you know, compo- composer of, you know, oh. the types of music and the movies and different things. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, it's worked out all right for him. Uh, clearly, but yeah, I, yeah. I just love that idea uh, that, you know, you got to, cause as, as entrepreneurs, you learn to not take no for an answer from others or no as an answer from others. Correct. Right? You, you have to yep. sort of I- ignore the naysayers um, almost all of the time. Right. But yep. that monologue, <laughs> you know, that's the one that can also be perhaps even more impactful and influential than the uh, external voices. So yeah, your inner, your inner judge, your inner judge. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My favorite, my favorite, uh, way that I kind of manifest that framework because I've talked about it before. I love that Beck song, um, you know, loser. Mm-hmm. And he, he talks, he, you know, says over and over, uh, he uses the word I'm, but I cannot say that phrase. So I, when I sing along with that song, which I do all the, you know, whenever I hear it, yep. I always change the word I'm to your, oh. so it's you're a loser, oh, not interesting. the word I'm. And it, and it's just a, I don't know what you want to call it, an affirmation, but I've been doing it for years and I never really thought much about it until I had, 
someone pointed out like, oh, I remember you, you know, told me this 10 years ago. Cause I mean, yeah. that song's been around forever. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, I was like, oh, I okay, got, that's interesting. So it's those little things like, you know, that, that help you tame that inner judge um, and kind of push him back. And I, I think that Dan you know, Nielsen's Steve, absolutely right. I was, I was reading that book, make something wonderful, which um, S- Steve jobs, yeah. widow uh, sort of spearheaded putting together with a team of other people. And it's just a bunch of things that Steve said throughout his life, organized into a nice, um, you know, collection, but it re- really is just his words, uh, you know, emails that he, wrote uh, speeches that he gave anything, you know, that, that they were able to sort of collect and, and cool. pull together. But one thing I noticed, and it was something I, I saw him do, you know, and, and knew that he did throughout his life is he, he said, one thing I learned early on was to ask myself every morning, if I knew that today was my last day on earth, if I knew that I was going to die tomorrow, would I do what I'm about to do today? And what he was famous for saying was, if the answer is no, more than a few days in a row, I need to go make a change. Okay. So I like, and I love that sentiment. Like, why would you do this? But here was a guy that if he did this, he woke up every day and said, if I die tomorrow and you know, did he, and then, and then he died far too young, right? Like from, uh, and, and so like, I, you know, I like your when you were sharing your your thing about Beck's song. It was like, you know, did did Steve? I, as I was reading this, this I, I happened to read that that segment of it this weekend uh, on Sunday morning. I was just sitting and reading, and I was like, I don't know that that's a good idea to talk about dying tomorrow every day. Yeah. I yeah, don't know. I do that. Like, I understand no. the perspective. I appreciate yeah. that greatly. But yeah, there, yes. maybe there's a better way. There's I a, I, I think you don't need to look at it that extreme, but yeah. you do need to recognize, yeah. um, whatever, ha, say it, however it motivates you. Like I have this big thing printed on the base of my monitor that says, you don't have much time. Oh. And I constantly remind myself of this, um, because I know like it's that. true. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so, you know, it, it's not as, <laughs> as harsh as if you die tomorrow. <laughs> you right, know? right. Because if I die, if I knew I was going to die tomorrow, I would g- immediately get on a plane and go see my kids. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, I mean, it's just every time. Right. A hundred percent of the time. That's what I would do. Yes, Same. Yes. Yeah, so, exactly. But telling, telling myself, I don't, you know, you don't have much time printing it. I have it printed out on this big label and yeah. I stick it <laughs> right on my, my right, right next to my quartet or right behind my yep. quartet. Uh, yep. glass board that I keep next to my keyboard. Um, and I probably see it 10 times a day. Sometimes it motivates me. Sometimes it pisses me off. Um, but, uh, you know, it is, well, it yeah. is what it is, but it, it <laughs> yeah. works. It works because it, it, it allows you, um, allows me to realize that, oh yeah, I, I need to maximize what I'm doing. And that could be relaxing, reading a book whatever it doesn't mean you need to be flat out all the time it means that time is a a at least as far as we humans experience it time is a finite asset that's right and it often ends way yeah Yeah. and it often ends way before you know it yep and you know uh having some kind of legacy to me as i've gotten older it's become you know more and more important that's one of the reasons why i do this show because i i hope my kids listen occasionally and i'm hoping that they can ha- keep these words long after i'm gone to yeah. be able to hear me talk about things that are very important to me and giving back uh to people that are trying to do what i've done for the last 30 years how crazy that may sound but um in the in the end it's it's very very it's rewarding what we do. i love it yeah it's what we do absolutely yeah, it's great yeah yeah Yep. It's a great way to wrap up the week. And, you know, uh, we love having you here. Come back and tell us, uh, you know, your stories, feedback at businessbrain.show. Tell us how you're saving on your taxes. What do we miss? What do we have wrong? Help yeah. keep our business brains uh, finding out and learning new stuff. Yeah, we're all here to tune our business brains together. Feedback at businessbrain.show, like he said. Do us a favor. Keep living that charmed life and... Hope you have a great weekend. See you next week.